Hey YouTube, this is Quentin from Network Creations TV and I'm here with a quick review of the iPhone 5. Uh, yeah, I got it. I'm normally an Android guy, but I like iPhones too, or iOS. Um, I like both platforms. Anyway, you've probably seen all the specs and uh, what it has and uh, you know, the insides, the changes. I'm just going to give my thoughts on it. Um, I like the phone. It's nice. Uh, a lot of people say that it feels lighter, and it actually does feel lighter, but I haven't had an iPhone since the iPhone 4, so it still seems pretty, uh, I mean, it has some weight to it, but it is lighter. Uh, undoubtedly, if I, if, I, if I had to hold an iPhone uh, 4 and c to compare it to, or if I had an iPhone 4 to compare it to, I would probably know the difference, but it, it doesn't really feel that light. I mean, it doesn't feel cheap. But one thing I've always liked about iPhones is the quality. Uh, it's really nice, high quality. It just feels, it just feels nice in the hand, and it just seems like it's really well built. Uh, I started to get the white one, uh, but I, I like the way the black one looked. But then I heard about all the uh, problems with people getting scratches on their phones or get them actually even getting them delivered and having scratches on them I haven't had that problem uh, I, I can keep enough on in a case most of the time so I don't really I mean I don't think I'm gonna have too much of, of a problem uh, it's it's a little bit of a finger fingerprint magnet but not too bad what I really like about it though is the uh, the bigger screen and it does feel faster a lot faster it's really a lot snappier but you know it's, there's not a really a, a whole lot different I mean if you're used to um, iOS or iPhone I mean it's pretty pretty much the same nothing really uh, anything new or, or different about it I mean it's still fluid you know no lag just like iOS you come to expect that uh, there's a few co few differences like the, the dollars a little different uh, you know of course you got the bigger screen not all apps are optimized for this uh, screen yet but a lot of them are okay to get YouTube on your phone you just basically go in the browser I use Safari because Safari has that feature uh, you go into it and you know you go to the YouTube and it'll load the mobile site and then you click the little uh, arrow and box right here and it's this has got this is kind of new I think that's new to iOS 6 but see where it says add to home screen and you just click it and you just you know add add it to your home screen basically and uh when you this I mean this seems to work better because it it uh when you play a video in HD it utilizes the whole screen whereas the YouTube app still it doesn't it doesn't utilize the whole screen so uh I don't like using it but I mean that's how you add the YouTube app or YouTube on your phone I should say another thing I like that you've probably seen uh, is the way uh, the App Store handles updates now it sort of handles it like Android where it updates it right there uh, in the uh, right on the screen it's versus how it used to do see like you click it and it just installs it right there you know it used to just jump right back to the screen where the app, actual app is located and if you have several apps um, I kind of I never really like that because you don't you can't see which ones are updating I like to see the, all my apps in the list what's updating and the progress of them updating uh, but that's a lot similar to the Android and uh, I like that part of it and that, that's another change in this phone of course it has LTE which I really like Okay, I've disabled my Wi-Fi, and just to give you a good uh, test of LTE, I have a good LTE in my area, and uh, I like to do speed tests, so we'll do a speed test just to let you see what I can get out of it. But uh, that's one of the really things I really like about it, and it's fast too. It's probably one of the faster phones. Good ping. See, wow, yeah, and wow. Yeah, I've, that's 29. I've, that's probably actually that's one of the highest I've got. That's close to 30. Let's do another one. Wow. Yeah. But yeah, that's 
and that I, that's I really like it <laughs> and I've got the tethering plan too so I can tether my other tablets and everything but uh, that's that's a really advantage you know having the uh, you know LTE and uh, it'll go back to HSPA plus when you don't have it you know when you can't get LTE which is pretty fast in itself here's a comparison to my my Nexus which uh, you can see it's the Nexus is still a lot bigger uh, two stock phones no carrier information on them I love that <laughs> just a black screen you know and I still love my Nexus of course but uh, eventually uh, I'm gonna still use I'm gonna use this phone I like the iPhone but I'm gonna be waiting for the next uh, Nexus pure Google device and I'm sure I'll be getting that and be doing a review on it but uh, I, I mean I like it I mean I've always liked the iPhone I've never had anything against it uh, uh, you know, I'm, I like I said, I, I really lean toward Android because the Nexus One was my first phone of this type. So, uh, you know, I really like it. But uh, I like this. I like the iPhone too. I mean, I've got several apps. There's a lot of apps I hadn't used in a while because I haven't been using the iPhone. Oh, another thing I wanted to uh, talk about is the Lightning connector. A lot of people. Uh, some people don't like that I guess because you have if you have a lot of accessories it is kind of a pain but I didn't have a lot I just had like a little speaker dock and I think I can still use it when I get the adapter uh, but one of the things that's really nice about the lightning connector is it it's really true to its name it, it actually it charges really fast uh, I got my phone down to I was down to like 30 percent and it charged to 94 percent in less than an hour so I mean, and plus, and the battery life is 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 still really excellent. So uh, that you know, Apple does a good job with that. So I mean, that that's a real big advantage. I mean, I would, I mean, I really like that. So uh, when they say Lightning, it it actually does work, and that go. I mean, it works faster plugging into a regular uh, electrical outlet, but it actually works not bad even when you when you're plugging in your computer. So. Another thing I like, oh, is uh, well, I don't know if I like it, but this passbook, I I assumed that it was gonna be sort of like a Google Wallet type thing, but it's really not. It's a, uh, it's almost like a kind of a record, something that for you to keep track of things, uh, like your coupons, store cards, which I don't really do that much of, uh, tickets and boarding pass. I could probably use that, and you know, and I don't know how, you know, how much. How that would work either as far as using your phone uh, to scan your ticket or boy, I don't know how that would work. But it's not as it's not like what you would think. It's not like Google uh, like Google Wallet or anything like that. But uh, but overall, I, I like it. I've always like I said, I've always liked iPhone. I like iTunes. I know a lot of people don't like that, but I never had a problem with it. And uh, I like all the integration of uh, the earphones. Oh, I'll talk about that also. I like the earphones that come with these, but they don't, they're not made for everybody like they make it out to be. I mean, they stay in your ear pretty much, but for me, if I start running or jogging, they'll fall out. And I do have to kind of keep constantly adjusting them to keep them in. But the sound quality is excellent. I mean, well, not excellent. I'm not an audiophile, so I mean, for me, it sounds good. Uh, and and uh, it actually, I was watching a video when someone said they actually sounded better than the in-ear ones, and I didn't believe it. And actually, they do. They at least they're on par with the in-ear in ones. And I'm talking about the Apple in-ear ones, the seventy-nine dollar ones. So uh, actually, they're not, and they're not a bad, they're not bad earphones. They actually sound better. They fit in your ear pretty good. I wouldn't say uh, they fit uh, like like they're saying like for everyone. But they fit pretty decent. I mean, I, I, you still have to adjust it a little bit. Oh, I do to keep them in my ear, especially if I'm running. And I, I like the uh, having the the the, uh, the jack on the bottom also. That's what I, that's how a lot Google phones like my Nexus. They've been doing that for a while. So I mean, I like that. I'm glad they finally decided to do that. But uh, anyway, this is just a brief review of the the iPhone. Uh, or iPhone 5 and yeah, the camera is excellent uh, I've haven't really used it a lot but I can I mean I've taken pictures up with it and it 
it does seem a lot better. Uh, I never, I can't compare it to the 4 so I never had the 4 but I did have the 4, and it is better. It's better than my Galaxy Nexus. Uh, that's probably better than even that my S3, which I don't have the S3 anymore, but, uh, well, I don't know, that's a close one. S3 was a pretty good camera, too. But, uh, anyway, this is just a, my little review of the, the iPhone 5. And uh, I got the 64 gigabyte model, so I wanted to have as much storage as I could, since you can't remove it. Uh, but that's actually plenty, really, for me. But anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this brief review. Or not really, I know it wasn't real detail, but I mean, it's, there's so many reviews out of, out there on YouTube. You can probably find one a lot. I'm just, I was just giving uh, my thoughts on it, so... Anyway, thank you for viewing my video and have a nice day.